Quantum 2 Subtraction Level 1. Subtraction is another word for taking away. When we subtract, we take some away, so we always end up with less. We're going to look at subtracting a single digit number from another number. So what happens when we take some things away from some other things? Let's have a look at some examples. Six people went into the house. people came out again. How many people were left inside the house? You can write a number sentence about that. Six take away four equals. There were six people in the house, then four left. Six take away four. What does that equal? Put the first number in your head and the second number on your fingers. Then count backwards. Six, five, four, three, two. Six take away four is two. Six take away four is two. Six, five, four, three, two. Here are two towers of bricks. One is eight bricks high and the other is four bricks high. How much taller is the first tower that is eight bricks high? than the second tower, which is four bricks high. In this question, we need to compare two different heights. One with a height of eight and one with a height of four. When we're comparing things, we subtract. So the number sentence will be eight take away four. And when we're finding the difference because we're comparing, we always put the biggest number first because you can't take 8 away from 4 but you can take 4 away from 8 so the number sentence is 8 take away 4 8 take away 4 put the first number in your head and the second number on your fingers then count backwards 8 7 Six, five, four. Eight take away four is four. Eight take away four equals four. So the tower is four bricks higher than the small tower. Joey the guinea pig had nine carrots. Then he ate two of them. How many carrots did he have left? We can write a number sentence about that. Nine take away two. He started with nine carrots, then he ate two of them. How many does he have left? Nine take away two. Subtract two from nine. Put the first number in your head and the second number on your fingers. Then count backwards. Nine, eight, seven. Nine take away two is seven. Nine, eight, Take away two is seven. Jolly the guinea pig has five carrots. Treacle the hamster only has two carrots. How many more carrots does Jolly have than Treacle? To answer this question, 
we need to compare two different amounts. The number of carrots that Jolly has and the number of carrots that Treacle has. When we're comparing, we use subtraction. So to write the number sentence, we would write 5 take away 2 equals because we're finding the difference between 5 and 2. 5 take away 2. Put the big number in your head and the little number on your fingers and count backwards. 5, 4, 3. 5 take away 2 is 3. 5 take away 2 is 3. And if I start with the number of carrots that Jolly had, which was 5, and I take away as many as Treacle had, which is 2, Jolly would still have 3 carrots left. So he had three more carrots than treacle. Five take away two is three. Jenny had four teddy bears. Then she gave one to her friend. How many teddy bears did she have left? We can write a number sentence about that. We started with four teddy bears, then we gave one away. Four take away one equals what does that come to put the first number in your head and the second number on your fingers and count backwards four three four take away one it's three four three Four take away one is three. There are eight people upstairs and three people downstairs. How many more people are there upstairs than there are downstairs? In this question, we are being asked to compare the numbers of people upstairs and downstairs. We haven't taken anything away. But this is another way of using subtraction. I have eight people upstairs and three people downstairs. The difference in their numbers is eight take away three. When we want to compare two amounts or numbers of things, it is called finding the difference. And when we find the difference, we write a subtraction number sentence. So eight take away three. Eight take away three. Put the big number in your head and the little number on your fingers. Then count backwards. Eight, seven, six, five. Eight take away three is five. Eight take away three is five. Eight, seven, six, five. So eight is five more than three. The difference between eight and three is five. Today we learned about subtraction. We learned how subtraction always makes less. We learned that when you take something away from something else, you have to do it in the right order. You can't swap the numbers around like you can when you add. Subtraction always makes less. But subtraction can also be used to compare two heights or distances or amounts. We saw that we could compare the height of two towers using subtraction. We worked how much, how, how much higher one tower was than the other. So subtraction is taking away, but it is also finding the difference between two things. However way we look at it, with subtraction, you always end up with less. Now you've seen how I do it, have a go at your skills test. 
Turn to the test in your books now and see how you get on.